sample. Well, we're going to help you out with that. We actually have a sample here. This is uh, the Block Restaurant, and we have Chef Rashad joining us this morning. Good morning. Chef, thank you so much for, for joining us now. Thank you. The Block is where the Midtown Grill used to be, right there on Woodward. How is the, can you tell us a little bit about the, about the menu and what folks can find at the Block? So basically what we want to do at the block, we want to cater to the community. You know, we have a very uh, strong community of young professionals, people that want to go out and they want to have good food, drink, and, you know, have a good time. And so with that, we took some simple classic American food and put our little twist on it. So we have our Fago Rock and Rye Wings. You know, yeah. we take the Fago sauce and toss the wings in it. Okay. You know? uh, we have our twice baked potatoes with Alfredo uh, pepper jack cheese mixed in with them, with cheddar on top, bacon, green onions. Then we have our uh, watermelon barbecue sauce. Watermelon barbecue sauce. Now, is that a sauce that you, you guys make in-house? All our sauces are made in-house completely. Uh, we, we try to make sure everything is fresh, organic, and tasteful, so we don't want to deviate from that plan. So can I try one of these? You sure can. You know, it's right there. We, we have it on camera. I just wanted to make sure that... Uh, and you're, you're fixing something for us this morning. So right. what are you fixing for us? So on our Detroit Restaurant Week menu, we have our mussels. And our mussels have a creamy white wine sauce, tossed with a little bit of basil, kept this simple, mm -hmm. you know, elegant. You can, taste, you can really taste the mussel. You can taste the cream. You can taste the wine, mm -hmm. uh, parsley on top. And that's served with our sidewinder fries, which are signature to us, and some honey vinaigrette. And you said uh, signature to you, the sidewinder fries. What's different about those fries? What they're, makes them signature? They're battered in beer, and we, we get them in. You know, I went to my, my food rep and said, hey, I want something different. I want something that nobody else in Detroit is doing, mm -hmm. something that's going to set us apart from everybody else. And so we, we got these potatoes in. We pre-built a, a cutter to make them, beer batter them, throw them in the fryer, and toss them in garlic butter, a little bit of parsley, and it really just brings out the flavor of the potato and the beer that they're battered in. Well, let me tell you, you know, I am not a huge watermelon fan, but I was like, let me try the watermelon wings because it's something that's going to be different for me. And I was afraid that it would be overly sweet or like a ro like a big watermelon yeah. flavor, but it's a very subtle flavor. It's it's it's, it's yeah, done that, very nicely. That's a fear that a lot of people have. And what we do is uh, we make a watermelon syrup and then we cut that with some house made barbecue sauce uh, to take away the sweetness. And the barbecue sauce, it really just helps mellow out the sweetness, but you can really taste the watermelon. And it's something that we really want to do because it sets us apart. You know, we want to bring people here and say, hey, you can only come here to get this. And one thing that, you know, when you go to a restaurant that has uh, entrees, sometimes the entrees, when they're more cl uh, classical or traditional, they tend to be not as adventurous. I've heard uh, your restaurant described as sort of small plates, that are sort of supersized? Because in small plates, you tend to be a little more adventurous, yeah. a little more uh, daring, and that's how I've heard uh, your restaurant described. Would you say that's an accurate description? Oh, yes, sir. We like to try to push the envelope. We want to definitely uh, open people's palates up. We want mm -hmm. people to try new things, say, hey, come here, try watermelon sauce. We have a bourbon bacon barbecue sauce. We have a rock and rye barbecue sauce. This is something that you can really come in, try something new, try something different. You know, we try to switch it up. Anything that we can do to wow people. And let me say, you know, I looked at the, uh, we have the menus here, so I was able to peruse the menus. Mm -hmm. It's also very affordable in terms of price. The most expensive thing that I remember seeing is about $17 for an entree. Not even, you know, our entrees are you know, around the 12 to 13 range. And it's just something that we feel like we want people to be able to eat good food and we, want, we don't want them to break their wallets to do it. Chef Rashad, thank you so much. Restaurant Week runs through Sunday. There are both $25 and $35 options. I think you guys have the, 30, uh, the $25 options yes, sir, $25. at Restaurant Week. When we come back, wellness expert Cassie Sobleton will talk about her new book, Back to Balance.